What's up everyone? April here. It's the holiday season, so we're going to use this episode of the Copilot Chronicles to dive into Microsoft Copilot Studio and see how we can use it to create a Copilot that helps us get some gift ideas. So come with me and we'll see how it works. Microsoft Copilot Studio gives us a way to easily build our own Copilots our way without having to write any code. If you come from the Power Platform world, you might have heard of Power Virtual Agents. That is essentially Microsoft Copilot Studio, but so much more has been added to it and it's being used in so many more places. So we get the infrastructure of Power Virtual Agents that we had to be able to build chatbots with the combination of all of these generative AI features and integrations with other Copilots and Microsoft 365 to make it even more powerful. To get to Copilot Studio, you go to copilotstudio.microsoft.com. Creating a new copilot is really simple. All I have to do is click this create a new copilot button. We'll give it a name and I'll call this our holiday copilot. And this supports multiple languages. So you can browse through all of the different languages that it supports. I'm going to choose English though. And this piece here is where it gets really powerful is the ability to boost your conversations with generative answers. This is using generative AI in the background to be able to look at the data source, whether it be a SharePoint library that you point in, a SharePoint site, a public facing website, whatever it is, and it uses AI to dynamically get those answers from the website you put in for you. You don't have to define any topics. You don't really have to do anything except point it to where your data is. I'm gonna skip this piece for now and we'll see how we can add it in later. I'm gonna click create and this will create our brand new holiday copilot. And just like that, we have our copilot. Now, right now it doesn't do anything. Let's talk about what I want this particular copilot to do for us. I want it to be able to give me Christmas ideas. So I have two different Excel sheets here, one for different Christmas ideas with categories and costs and descriptions, and another that has sales data of the most common Christmas presents across different regions. So I want to be able to put this data from Excel into the Copilot and be able to ask it questions like, give me some gift ideas for a 13 year old girl and have it be able to decipher what I put in and get that from these Excel sheets. So how do we get our Copilot to do this for us? Well, now that we have this created, we're going to go over here to the generative AI section of our Copilot. Now I'm going to enable the functionality here with this toggle to boost my conversation with generative answers. That's going to give me the ability to point a website to this copilot or multiple websites because it can support more than one and give AI the power to go comb through all that data and give me some answers dynamically. Now, when I do that, I have the ability to not only point it to a website, but I can also upload files directly right to this copilot. So if you have some data that's static, like those Christmas reference Excel sheets that I just pulled up, we can upload those directly here and it supports up to three megabyte files. So let's click the click to browse and we'll upload those two Excel sheets we just looked at. So here's our gift ideas. So that's uploading that to use with the copilot right now. And there it is. And we will upload that other one, which is the sales data. And we can mix and match uploaded data and data from websites. These can be public facing websites, or it does support your SharePoint sites as well. And that's really all we need to be able to have a functional copilot. So I can actually save this. And now we can use the built in testing panel here on the left hand side to see if this works. So I can say, give me gift ideas for a 10 year old boy that are under $100. So we'll try to get as specific as we can. All right, well, that didn't take too long. It looks like it gave us a list of five different ideas here. So we have a Catan board game. And you'll notice next to each idea, there's a citation. So if I click on that, that'll actually show me where in that list it got that data. So this is really just pulling up that Excel sheet and it'll show me that it got it from that Excel file. So I can see there's the Catan board game and it is $58. So it is under a hundred, like I said, and it looks like it matched that data up because the description says it's popular for ages 10 and up. So within a matter of minutes, I have my data uploaded and I'm able to ask it all these kinds of questions. So now let's see if it can handle something from the Christmas sales data. So I can say, what is the most popular gift in the UK for women? And there you go. It looks like based off the data, the most popular gift is jewelry. So that can give me some ideas too. 
Now there's so much more that we can do with this besides just uploading some data, we could point it to a real website too. So I got several people in my family that are really into Lego. So it would be really cool if I could point the Copilot to the Lego site and be able to ask it all kinds of questions about different kits. So I'm gonna copy this URL and we'll go back to our Copilot. And in that generative AI section, where we have the ability to put in the website, we'll just paste in that URL. So now we're able to get all of the data from the Lego website and use it in our Copilot. And the really cool thing here is it can take more than one website. So the other thing that I know a lot of people in my family are into are Funko Pops, myself included. So I'm gonna point this to the Funko website too. And now by just adding those two references, I can ask this Copilot all kinds of information about different Lego and Funko. Now I'm gonna save these settings and we'll refresh our Copilot here and we'll do some testing. So maybe I wanna know, is there a Metallica Funko? And that was really fast. It looks like there is one and there's a couple different ones and it gave me a reference right back to the Funko store where I can see a reference of this particular pop. So let's keep rolling with it. Maybe I'm gonna ask how much is the Office Lego set? And there you go, again, with a link right back to the source of truth here. So I could click on that and I could even go and buy this right now. And I actually have this Lego set right behind me. I definitely recommend it. It's a really cool one. So there you have it. That's how easy you can build your own holiday gift Copilot using Microsoft Copilot Studio. There's so much more to unpack here with Copilot Studio. So I'll definitely be creating some more content with deep dives into all of the features that it has to offer. But hopefully you enjoyed this holiday how-to. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.